Hello, hello, hello. Excuse me. How is everyone doing? <clears throat> so I have heard um, people request and I am going to um, yeah, I've heard people's requests loud and clear, and so I am going to do some red today. Actually, let's go ahead and do a poof. So, so we're going to do some red lips for sure. And because I don't have any red eyeshadow. Well, I'll figure out what else to do. Got my rose water toner. How is everyone doing this Tuesday afternoon? All right, I got my primer. Putting on the primer. And we'll let that sit in while I fix my hair. Okay. If we can get it to work. <laughs> All right, here. Sometimes it's a struggle when you freshly wash your hair the night before. <sighs> and I did that because anytime I go outside and I'm around a lot of people, I wash my hair. So I was working my part-time job today. Yesterday, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, all right, let's see. Did I catch it? All right, caught the bobby pin. So I am going to do some red lips for sure, but I'm just putting my hair back because I do have to work after this, so can't do anything to you know it has to be respectable so no nothing too funky today so i'm going to do a couple of low ponytails okay it'll keep the hair out of my face hopefully hopefully Hopefully, just kind of pull it down a little. All right. Now, if I don't like it later, I'll. Whoa, that kind of squished it. I was just trying to pin up that. There. Okay. So I love bobby pins. I have a little container of bobby pins. I find them all over my house, which is okay with me. So, it is very okay. Alright, let's 
so there. Okay, so there. We'll see if I like that little fun hairstyle. I won't say anything. And we'll see if I continue to, I got this shirt from, I ordered it online. It is um, called Pop Watch. And it is this hilariously funny grandfather. I just think he is just wonderful. So, um, and it says save a life, get back in the house. <laughs> So, um, like I said, it's Pop Watch. Um, I don't endorse it because um, it's just something funny that I watch. But they don't need my endorsements. They are just outrageously funny, those two. So, actually, it's more like a family. So, I'm putting some concealer around my eyes here. Because, oh, I don't know if it's sleep deprived or just not sleeping well. It's something. It is something. So, nice big white areas. Concealer. It's in the color Scarlet. And I'm covering up some of those spots. They don't really itch anymore, so that's good. I always have that resting face where it's all brown there. All good. Okay. I just keep thinking, once upon a time, I actually only wore concealer powder under my eyes because of the circles. And besides like my mascara and my lipstick or lip gloss, whichever it was. That is what I wore. Can't believe I ever had that simple of a look. I don't know. We're gonna do some liquid foundation. Shaking it up, drinking some coffee. Gonna do it one more time. And this is Scarlet as well. So I know people will be like, you know, do your concealer afterwards. I don't. I feel like the only reason that you would do a concealer afterwards is to um, use it as a, um, like a brightener. Meaning, you know, like light in the eyes. Um, use it in your T-zone. Things like that. I don't feel... And you certainly can do that. I guess I just will use a different shade foundation or powder or something like that. So uh, that's why you'll see. Can't there. That's why you'll see um, two different color spray foundations because I just use that to lighten. <laughs> Blending it all in here. My tummy is growling. It's saying it's hungry. 
I probably should have ate something before I did this video. Probably. That probably would have been a smart person's choice, huh? Okay. All right. So that is enough foundation and concealer. In essence, it's probably too much. Okay. How's everyone doing? I forgot to wet that. Well, maybe I won't use it. Who knows? Okay. Let's go ahead and take some setting powder. Oh, yeah. I forgot I did that, too. Okay, here we go. Put a little hole, actually, a big hole. Big hole in the setting powder. Now our liquid foundation does dry to a powder. I'm just hurrying it up along. Taking away a little bit of that shine. So if you are jumping on and seeing the red live button, you're catching me live, drop a line, say hi. Let's chat. If you are watching this after and watching the replay, hashtag replay, let me know I missed you. All right, I am just putting some powder. I'm not baking. Baking is where you put a heavy layer of powder. A lot of people do it under their eyes, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and just let it sit with the setting powder and then after a little while, brush it off. Okay, there, we're gonna call that good. Put my little plug see I put a plug in it so that way the powder doesn't spill out oh, can't get it all right we'll do that in another time coffee break how is everyone it's red day It's red. People have been asking me for this. So we are going to do it today. I am fluffing the eyebrows. Oh Lord, this girl has over plucked her eyebrows in some areas. Actually, I got me one of these fancy dancy flawless um, brow razors, so. And yeah, but they'll be okay, right? Yeah. Okay, I know, I know, I know. So I'm taking my bronzer and I am contouring and doing the bronze and in the, in the hollows of my cheeks here. under the chin or under the lip we'll take a bigger brush and blend out there i am gonna contour my forehead here 
I'm going to blend all this out. I am just getting it put in the areas that I like. there okay now I'm gonna take um, an elf flawless face brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer and blend out okay blend out there Let's go here. And I just go on the bottom of the neck there. And now I'm not going to put any extra product, but I'm just going to blend out that contour here a little. I might be braiding my hair here. Oh well. oh well, we tried. I'm gonna take our brow palette here and see if I like it. Since my hair is growing out a little bit, sadly to say. And it's using the blonde um, brow palette which I am not sure if you can get any more because um, I know that they're phasing these out. But I did post and pin my link. Um, so feel free to look and see um, what all. Okay. Kind of went a little heavy handed there. Let's see if we can blend that into the hairs and blend it on. I feel like it's always a good idea to kind of play with a couple of things like a um, couple of things that was way too high a couple of things that you can do with your brows um, to use as contour eyeshadow blush things like that so that way if you're in a jam you know you can use them All right, we'll see how I like those. I didn't put any, ah, you know what? I feel like I need to put a little bit. I feel like they just look a little dark. So I'm gonna take my spoolie, I rubbed it in that bronzer. Then I'll just give a little bit, but not a lot, because the product really doesn't go onto the spoolie very well. So. We'll see if that's enough to make me happy. Who knows, right? All right, I am gonna put a little pink from the brow palette under here. It helps to shape. Okay. And I'm gonna put the pink all over my eye. Because it'll lighten it up. Coffee break. 
There we go. Okay. I'm going to take Overt in the liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to put a little bit on the edges and then I'm going to blend out or blend in. I should say it that way because then it will get lighter the further in you go. And when you're first working with these liquid eyeshadows, which are amazing, let me tell you, um, do one eye at a time because they can dry quickly on you. And I'm not really um, too worried about having, because I'm going to put, okay, English Jess. Um, so I'm not worried about taking it all the way to the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to put a lighter color there. And since I don't have red eye makeup, which I don't know, I think... It would be too much if I did red lips and red eyes. So I'm doing more of a brown neutral. So we're going to let that dry and we are going to put on, do we want maybe a little, a little sweet blush. Kind of help get a nice pink color to my face since we're using brown eyes. But we have to remember that we're putting on a red bold lip. Come on, there. All right, that just helps give a little bit of color. Color to the face, yeah. All right. I want to go brown. I think I'm going to go black. Assuming I can find black. Okay, so we're going to go black on the inner eye. I like this contrast here. With the brown, because I'm, I use black mascara. Contact. All right, I actually did it just on the, woohoo, the inner, woo. I didn't pop out any contacts or anything. It's looking up, people. All right, so now for a good contrast, I'm going to go in with this really light called Optimistic. It's sparkly. I use it for my inner corner all the time. So I'm making sure to get enough of the optimistic, the white, okay? 
and then you'll see how it looks really harsh um you know like first the inner half of my eye is all light so what i'm going to do is i am going to take ansi in this powder so it's a brown and i'm going to just blur that line okay it'll still give me the light but it will it'll give me like this transition so instead of the horizontal transition we are doing a transition color here in between the light and the dark brown okay all right I feel like though I need a little bit so I'm gonna use my finger All right. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. There we go. We are going to do a little bit of color. I mean, sparkle. That's what I mean. We'll take the gold. Okay. I'm dabbing this gold. Dab, 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 dab. We're doing well on time, people. We're doing well. That's awesome. I feel like I thinned that eyebrow out too much. Okay. All right. Good dimension to the face. Got some sparkle. What did I do with? Oh, I put it away. So now I'm going to take my favorite mascara, Full and Soft. This I get at Walmart or Target, probably any um, drugstore or retail store. Um, it is, got my first mascara, Freckles. Now, um, we definitely could have went with like a silver, um, smoky eye look with this red, that would have been an awesome one, but I think that would have been too sharp just for work, but you never know. I mean, maybe that'll be my next work. it just brings out my lashes like nothing else make sure that you wiggle the mascara on the bottom base of the lashes Whew. got a little bit more just right in that same spot that's okay we're gonna get that we are gonna get that
Okay. So now I'm going to go with a second coat on the top. Just made more mascara freckles. And you can get really full lashes in, um, oh, I didn't realize I had some on the top there. See, see what happens when you, oh, see, look at that. Look at that. Don't worry. We'll take care of those mascara freckles. Okay. All right. So now let's take care of those freckles. Now I am not a big under the eye color person. You are, you certainly can. You could do like some gray, uh, not gray, but brown. Certainly could do that. If you had red, you could, um, you know, when you put red on your eyes, you could do that. Just, I would just caution you to make sure that you don't look like you are making yourself sick. Because, you know, um, oranges and reds and stuff like that, they put on people in the movies to make their eyes look sick. You know, do you know what I'm saying? So makeup is an awesome thing. Just use it wisely. And I forgot to curl my lashes up. Oh, what's new? Okay, there we are. We've got our eyes done. And now you guessed it. We are going to bring out the red lips. All right. I use a lip stain. And I don't line. You certainly can. Okay, there's the bottom. All right, so now with, this is a lip stain I'm using. So you wanna make sure that you put it where you want it because when it dries, that's where it goes there and it stains there, okay? Um, so definitely can add layers. So I'm gonna add one more layer. I usually only go two. But it makes it deeper, brighter, and there we go. All right. So that is the red. That's that. This is usually that, and then the smoky gray eye. 
is usually how I would wear red. I don't, um, you know, I don't buy red eyeshadow. Um, not normally, okay? I am trying to branch out, though, and expand my colors. Um, so maybe that's something in the future. But this is where our time ends. I am going to take a little bit of setting powder on this beauty blender and kind of tap where. Now, once you get your lips like this, you can definitely um, put like a gloss over them. Um, it could be a clear gloss. It could be like a darker gloss to make the red like a little deeper um you know if you put like a pink it might turn it like a little different color so you could try oh and see excuse me <laughs> see what you like makeup is all about being you and how you like it you can use as little or as much as you like all right so this is my look for this Tuesday. Looks like it would be a good Friday night potted look, right? <laughs> so everyone have a great, fantastic day. And I will see you next time. Bye.